Welcome back to Crypto Dank's YouTube channel. It's your boy Crypto Dank's here, and I'm with my boy Diego Manchester and Jay Jables. What's up, guys? How you doing today? What's up, Pretty brother? Good, brother. Chilling, Pretty good. Man. Pretty good over here. Good, good. Glad to so, be here. It's a pleasure to have you, man. So this was kind of right off the cusp. I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about your journey of getting into CASPA and what that's been like because there's a lot of people out there that are still unsure of CASPA and it's just potentially all hype and and uh, I know even for myself like I was a uh, for the longest time I followed these paid shillers that you've seen me starting to expose and you know everybody's holding the same stuff you know they're holding Solana, Chainlink, XRP, HBAR, this, that and what I've been trying to tell you, and then what you guys have learned through uh, through me and through other people like Crypto Galaxy and Crypto John and stuff like that, is that we have to find these cryptos before they get listed on these tier one exchanges. And sometimes it can be a nerve wracking experience because when they're on Coinbase and Binance, that's when it almost feels like it's legit, right? But at the same time, right. if you do your research like we have, it, it you become more convicted and you become you you're easily be able to sleep at night when you fully understand the project do you want to i don't know if you want to start with why don't we start with you diego uh, manchester why don't you tell us a little bit about what that experience has been like ever since you met spe specifically crypto galaxy and then me and uh everything along the way of just kind of transitioning into this more micro cap uh finding these weird little offset gems that we've been looking for lately bro my story has been a roller coaster bro like you have no idea i started crypto in 2021 at the peak of the bull run so oh. you you already know you already know how much money i lost yeah. you know yeah 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 and me as a newbie i following like you said you know like these you know cryptos like youtubers and they would be bullish on one coin and i didn't understand it at first i'd be like bro you just talking about one coin like yesterday and now you're pushing another coin i was like wait what's but i was just following you know following like like everyone else who just starts crypto you hear these stories like oh my god you're you you can make so much money of crypto you'll just wake up one day with like a lot of money and then i was like okay yeah i'm, I'm down for that so then i started crypto in 2021 <clears throat> right when dodge was like the big thing so dodge dodge coin literally brought me to crypto so i started buying all these like xrp how much did you, ADA, you know, asking uh, how what price did you buy dogecoin at i bought dogecoin at 50 cents bro Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I bought Dogecoin at fifty cents. Um, I didn't even know how to use MetaMask. I just bought that on Robinhood, bro. It was just like, you know, like that's how that's how new I was. You know, I didn't even know how to use a MetaMask. I didn't know what that that what that was. All I know was Coinbase and Robinhood, and that's literally where I got all my coins from. So, like I said, I bought XRP. Ada, every, every they were being shielded like they were like the next big thing, and I went in heavy, bro, because you know, I I got fooled into I'm gonna be a millionaire this year, so I was like, okay, so then I went in heavy, bro. When Bitcoin was at forty eight fifty, I think it touched a little bit of fifty. I'm not sure. I was super hyped. I was like ninety k. I was like, okay, I'm 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 fuck, I'm happy. I'm good. Bro, I go to sleep the next day. My 90k is literally like 70. I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, all right. I'm like, okay. It's gonna go back up. It's gonna go back up. Bro, it never recovered. Not. I kid you not. I went from 90k to 20,000. Oh, got hacked on Trust Wallet for 10k. Oh my. And my god. other k. And my other 10k that was in Qcoin, <clears throat> I I had to work with that, and then, whatever I lost, I, I literally lost everything, you know. So then I started doing DeFi, and then I lost money in DeFi, and then I was just like, I was in a bad state. I was just like, like I don't, I didn't even know, I didn't even. Want, there was one time where I got hacked from for ten thousand dollars, bro. I didn't even want to get out of bed. I called my brother. I was like, dude. 
I'm not going to work today. I just need a day off. I just need a day off. I turned off my computer. My I turned off my phone. I went to go eat breakfast, Damn. lay down, fell asleep. Like, I was just, okay. Then the next day, I was fine. But I, I just, I was not myself, bro. And But I just kept saying to myself, like, you know, if 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 God introduced me to crypto, like, there's got to be some reason why. Like, right. you know, so I, my, my intuition, I'm very spiritual. So, like, I, you know, I believe in the third eye and I'm very big with numerology and astrology. So, like, I was just like, you know, let me keep going. So, I just kept kept going. And, I, you know, I have a good thing. I have my own business and I make good money. So, I, I kept going back. But then I kept doing it. was like the same pattern with XRP, ADA. Every time XRP would, like, just a little bit, it was a dump. Oh. ADA, same. HBAR. Like, I had all these, like, crap coins. Finally, I... Got a little, I got a little bit of luck. I made a little bit of money, and I, I came back to crypto like heavy again. I was at forty six thousand, and then the money came down to like uh, thirty five. So I was down ten. But bro, once I started like following you, Crypto Galaxy, and I was learning about fundamentals and market caps and uh, token distribute distribution like. Bro, it just changed everything. And then when once we found out about Casper, like, you know, like fully launched, like with a with like everything to the public, like there's no dumps. Bro, I went in heavy, and I'm at a two X, and I've never been so happy. Like I feel like I'm back. Like I feel like I'm alive again. You know. Right. So I was just that, that's a, that's my story. Yeah. That's a good story, man. It's it's crazy, you know, the experiences that people have. And, you know, to be honest with you, I guarantee you you're not the only one that's... I know for a fact you're not the only one that's been through something like that. And uh, lots of people yeah, have lost their yeah. ass. And it's unfortunate, you know, because a lot of people... Uh, I personally feel that Satoshi Nakamoto, whoever created Bitcoin, created it as an opportunity for people who are willing to just take a little bit of risk and have a little bit of faith to get wealthy. And it's a way to get around the system and get wealthy on our own without anybody stopping us, you know. And uh, that being said, yeah, I kind of wanted to show this um, to and, and I'm glad you mentioned what you mentioned, because um, I did learn a lot from Crypto Galaxy. He opened my eyes to some things and then I did some research on my own and I realized that it's not what everybody tells you to buy. It's about the quality behind the project and it's the fundamentals of the, the, the tokenomics and, and tokenomics are the way that the allocation of the tokens are distributed. Um, the best type of coin that there possibly could be is a fairly launched mm -hmm. layer one proof of work asset, which is Bitcoin. And now we have Caspa and uh, Jay, I want to get to you in a second, but before I do, this is the weekly, um, this is the weekly Bitcoin chart, but I wanted to show you something that's very interesting, right? So if you look here, it was fairly launched, which means it just was released out and people started to slowly buy and then it peaked and it kind of just went up from there, right? Now, even though this is the, the, uh, the, the, this is the four hour chart, look at how similar this looks to Bitcoin in a way, right? started mm -hmm. off slow started to increase big ups bigger ups and and we're just going to be going up from here i don't see uh any down draw major down draw from here so it reminds me a lot of bitcoin and it's because it is very similar to bitcoin in that regard being fairly launched no tokenomics like honestly the only humpbacks that there are out there are whales or what have you or uh or you know the biggest fish in the pond are are probably exchanges and maybe like Jonathan Sampolinsky who bought a shit, whatever money he had when it was fair when he first launched the coin you know so there's not many people that can dump on your heads and only 16 percent own the top uh portion of the allocation and what what really comes down to uh what you said is important is the research and it takes a massive amount of research to find true gems because every day me and you are back and forth like look at this look at that look at this and i'm always like uh uh that uh this that i always find some reason you know 
because yeah, yeah. it's hard earned money, bro. And we don't want to lose our asses again. Cause I've had this very rough experiences myself, you know, and I'll talk about that later in a different video, but, um, just, just changing mindsets. And once you buy on Coinbase and all that, it seems like, and it feels more comfortable cause they're on there. But you tell me any coin that's on Coinbase that's up at all for this entire year. Maybe render. There's nothing, right? So Yeah, there's nothing. That, that yeah. doesn't make it necessarily like a safe place to buy just because it's on Coinbase. That's just it, a lot of it has to do with marketing. A lot of it has to do with these companies that they put forward money to get listed on Coinbase. Coinbase asks for X amount of dollars and they give it to them and they get listed. There's a lot of different things that are shady that go on behind listings for, for big tier one exchanges. The only way Casper will get listed is if there's enough demand, which will come, and then Coinbase itself will have to buy up the token if they haven't already at the market price to build the demand or for the to build the supply and as that happens the price is gonna just go up exponentially it's called the coinbase effect because they're gonna have to buy so much freaking caspa to have the demand for this the supply for the demand of people that are gonna want it once it's listed on coinbase so just keep in mind everybody out there watching it's not always about what's already launched it's about finding your tokens early doing your research and being confident in your picks. There's no paper hands around here. You gotta be confident in what you buy. Otherwise, you're always gonna be worried about the price action. For me, and the picks that I got, when I make a buy, I don't sell, I just keep buying. When the price goes down, I keep buying. When the price goes down, I keep buying. Cause I'm in it until the bull run. So anyways, that's my rant. Thank you for sharing your experience. Jay, uh, I know that this is kind of this is new for you, Caspa in general. Um, you're a big bag holder of Solana, Quant, Chainlink, uh, some Doge, Pepe, and stuff like that. Um, why don't you just tell us a little bit about and, and be honest, bro? Like how it's felt for you, um, the ups, the downs, the feelings of of transitioning from something that seems so confident for so many people like Solana and Chainlink to transition to something that might feel so uncertain like Caspa to a lot of people. What's that been like for you? Yeah, I mean, so I'm like fairly new to crypto, I'd say. I started investing in it probably mm, almost two years ago. And I think the first crypto I bought was like Cardano. Cause like my cousin told me to buy it or something and it went <laughs> all the way down <laughs> after he told me to buy it. I'm like, bro, you owe me a thousand dollars, dude. <laughs> and, uh, he's like, it'll go up. It'll go up. Trust me yet to see anyways. Um, and then, so I kind of left that alone. And then, um, uh, one of my best friends, he was big into crypto and he was a big time investor. He made a, uh, a good bag uh, off Tesla and Nvidia stocks back in like 2015, and when I say good bag, I'm talking like millions. And so he told me he's like, "Hey, I'm telling you, man, you gotta the next thing." Now, obviously, this guy made money already, so I'm more prone to listening to somebody who's ha has already been there before me. So he told me, he's "Like, dude, you gotta get Solana, you gotta get Chainlink. I'm telling you, dude, this will." So I started investing. Now I had savings, and so I started buying Solana and Chainlink, and um, then I would, uh, you know, uh, let's see. I'm trying to figure out what I can say. <laughs> let's just say I invested everything, and I, <laughs> yeah, I think you get what I'm saying. So, uh, did you see any green at all during this time period? There was one time I remember, like, when I first got into Solana, it, like, had went up, and uh, and I sold some a little bit, and I was so happy. I made, like, 500 bucks or whatever because I had sold some. I bought it down, and it went up. This, this was a while ago. And then, not to mention, so Solana and Chainlink were my two biggest holdings. Just to give you perspective, I think I had... Uh, like 1500 Solana and like 
thirteen hundred chain link. But I also had, I was I I, I believed in because my cousin was big on XRP, so I had XRP and XLM and XDC. Then I had H bar, and I had a uh, uh, Polygon and uh, a little bit of Bitcoin and some quant. I had this like every little everything, you know, and and all the shill, all the shill stuff. Yeah, because like a lot of YouTube channels that I would watch, they would like uh, talk about XRP, and uh, there was this guy, Digital Outlook. I don't know if you guys know him. His name's like Dave. He's like this older dude, and he's always talks about XRP, and he's always in the best. It's like infectious. His his mood. He's like, all right, guys, today we're talking about XRP, and it's going to the moon. And he's like this. So like it's hyping me up, right? That energy, and I'm like, you know what? I'm like. And so, and then my cousin's like, yeah, dude, XRP, dude, you're going to be a million. So I bought a whole bunch of XRP and XLM and XTC and all the ISO, whatever, 22, ISO 2022 coins. Yeah. yeah. And, and I kept getting more Solana and Chainlink. And then I came across Crypto John's channel. And that's actually how I found you. So how I found Crypto Danks. I came across Crypto John's channel and I started watching his videos and I'm like, dude, this guy's fucking real. Like this guy, no bullshit. I like him. He, he, he. I could just tell, you know, like, like you were saying, uh, Manchester, that is like, I'm also spiritual as well, you know, and I can pick up on energy and, and, and things like that. And, um, John is just real, man. He is. And, uh, just like you, Crypto Danks. And then, so I eventually, after months and months of watching Crypto John's channel, I subscribed to his Patreon, and then I went into his Discord, and that's someone had mentioned Crypto Danks that he used to be a member of uh, Crypto John's channel, or uh, yeah. So then I'm like, okay, and I started watching. I watched that first video that you you were talking about everything you exposed. You were talking about XRP and Solana and this and like how the the tokenomics and. My friend who told me to get into Solana and Chainlink and then my cousin who told me a Cardano and XRP and all these people telling me to invest and all these YouTubers besides Crypto John and you and whatever Galaxy. But I didn't really know that guy. I found you before I found him. But anyways, um, long story short, nobody talks about the to- uh, tokenomics really. So like I didn't realize how important that is. Like, And so... To put it into perspective, I took all those holdings, the Solanas, the Chainlinks, the the 3Xs, the H-Bars, the Polygons, the little bit of Bitcoin I had, all the quant I had, like um, everything, and I put it into uh, Casper. You know, after, after watching Crypto John and then your videos and then doing doing some of my own research with, you know, I'm, I'm, my understanding is rudimentary, obviously, and, and that those terms, but... I get the gist of it, and I'm like, dude, this thing is a gem. This is literally a gold mine that we're sitting on here. And I put, so I sold half of my Solana and half of my Chainlink first, like so, whatever, like 750 coins of each. And then I told my friend, and he got so mad at me. He's like, "What are you doing, man?" He's like, "Dude, he's like, you are literally shooting yourself in the foot, dude." He's like, "You put ten thousand dollars in Casper." He's like, "Bro," he's like. You are shooting yourself in the foot. You're, I'm telling you right now, go buy it back. Sell it. Go buy it back because you are ruining your future. And, you know, here's the thing. It's like <clears throat> I tried talking to him too. He's like, dude, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear about this stupid cast, but it's shit. Here's the thing, man. Solana and Chainlink, they have the best developers, the best adoption rate. I don't care about anything else. Caspa is nothing. It's a joke. It's a shit coin. And... You know, and even my cousin, who's a maxi on XRP, I told him, I said, dude, you got to get some cast, but he's like, it's bullshit. He said, I don't care, man. He's like, it's bullshit. He's like, it's as I, I said, dude, and I explained to you what, what Crypto Dinks was taught me was like how we went through each one XRP and Solana and Chainlink and looked at where it's at now. And then the all time high for it to get there, what the market cap would have to be and all this stuff and the pump and dumps and. Dude, I had no idea, bro. And then so I'm just like, you know what? Why do I want – let's say it does. Let's say in a perfect world, pigs fly and it gets to its uh, all-time high. Okay, so that's what, a 7x, a 10x? Right. Dude, 
I've invested everything. I'm 30 years old. I had to move back in with my, my parents because, you know, I invested everything, man. And I'm a personal trainer, dude. Like, I'm not making, like, crazy money. Like, you know, like, my expertise is in fitness and nutrition and things like that. Not crypto. Not that stuff. Like, bro, I need to... And I'm 30. I don't have a wife. I don't have kids. So I can take the risk. Right. So I'm like, yeah. you know what? Why not? Why? Why? Why play small? Like, so I went all in. I said, you know what? I didn't tell him after he like got pissed at me. I took the rest of it. He still thinks I have some Solana <laughs> chain link. <laughs> and I didn't tell him, but I put it all on Castro, bro. I literally yeah, put he's everything gonna, on. He's gonna, he's gonna see this video. He's gonna find out. <laughs> Hopefully he sees it after I've already become like, you know, really uh, successful. But I guess if that answers your question, that's my yeah, long winded no, answer. But great. dude, I, I, I got rid of all the other stuff because, so that, yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, I was going to say, it's like, yeah, you're going to make money on XRP and XLM and XTC and all those things. Oh, by the way, to, the, just, it were, I thought about the thing you had asked me before, if I saw any money. After XRP won the case, dude, it went up to like 95 cents and I saw my portfolio like went up a little bit and Solana went up and I should have sold and then it fucking dumped. Right. It dumped, bro. I'm like, dude, okay, this is bullshit. This is a scam because the fact that they waited like three years and they won this case and it pumped to 95 cents, didn't even get to a dollar and went back down. I'm like, <laughs> all these guys are taking profits. I'm like, this is bullshit. This is a scam. And I tried telling my cousin that. Nobody wants to listen. All I know is, look, you, all three of us, we're all in Casper. We're good. I hope everyone gets in as soon as they can because it's going up. Listen, Bro, listen. it's like go ahead, go ahead. And, the, and the the thing is you cannot, you, you cannot <clears throat> like put it in people's heads. Like it's just like one, I feel like they're super invested in it that their mindset is like, okay, like. I'm diamond hand, bro. Diamond hand is good if the project mm. is good. Like, bro, just like, just like you said, it went to ninety cents. It, it should have kept going at least to a dollar fifty. That was my mindset, you know. Right. And then maybe we con the may and then maybe it came down to like a dollar twenty. This shouldn't have been that much of a of a Down of a decrease. Yeah. yeah, that was like crazy. Like you got. XRP Maxis, like, come on. And the worst Such part bullshit. is, like, the worst part is, that, like you said, the market cap needs to be crazy. It's like, <clears throat> bro, we're, I don't know, whatever. It is what it is with them, man. At the end of the day, trust me, I'm, I'm, I, I know how you feel because I've been there. I've been telling my friends, like, bro, Casper, you, you want to be rich? Like, this is the chance. We're not going to have another bull run like this one. Like, come on. And they they just don't listen or or they don't care. And I'm like I'm tired of it, bro. Like I'm just gonna do my thing. And and I bet you when I become a millionaire, they're gonna be like, yo, bro, how do how did you do this? Or and I'm gonna be like, bro, I, I've told you, you just didn't listen. Yeah, bro. Yeah. That's the thing. Is like, I've I've gotten to a point to where like now I'm at a point where I'm not here to convince anybody. I'm here to just present prevent present the facts about what <clears throat> caspa is and tell people how to research crypto the right way and not just listen to people and buy coins so don't just listen to us and say we dumped our shitload of money into caspa and go do it yourself go do the research they came out with a book called the book of caspa pick it up on audible for like eight bucks or whatever and listen to it read up on caspa's white paper they've solved the trilemma there's the first crypto that's ever done it it's a proof of work, not a proof of stake. What is all in common with Chainlink, Solana, <clears throat> and all of those ones? With those ones in particular, they're, cha they're proof of stake. They have CEOs, co-founders, COOs. They have finance divisions. They have marketing divisions. They have all these people that need to be paid out. To how do they get paid? They get paid an allocation of the crypto. And every time the price pumps, what do you think they're going to do? They need to supply their family, right? It's just normal. It's natural. They're human beings. Not everybody's in a position where they can just hold on to coins forever and wait for the pump. They have to sell a lot of people. So that's what happens with proof of stake. When you have proof of work fairly <clears throat> launched, this is, will, will not happen for most of the cryptos that, that are like that. So 
Um, and somebody else, Crypto Jordan, compared it to Kadena. He's just so wrong, bro. It's totally different. You know, it's only because people say it's similar because, oh, it's so fast and it, it solves the, it's a whatever, you know, whatever reason that people want to say their crypto is better or the same or there's no difference of cash, but they just haven't done the research. So what I recommend is to anybody out there, do your own research and come up with a conclusion yourself. If you personally came up with a conclusion after doing legit, serious delving into the project and finding out what it's all about and you have determined that it's crap, then that's on you, all right? So all I can say is I've done enough research to know. And let me ask you this, Jables, since you met me and joined my Patreon last week, what are you up, like a couple thousand already? It's been a week. Yeah, yeah. Since I reconsolidated and like uh, invested in some of the projects that you've been uh, researching, you talk about on your channel, and then obviously Caspa, I'm up probably. Uh, yeah, because Caspa was pumping right this past few days. Like I'm up. Yeah, definitely a couple thousand. I'll say probably like if I ch I have to check it right now exactly, but I would say at least like two thousand. For sure, and you just got in, you know, so it's, it's just going to keep going. I know, man, Diego Manchester, you do, you got a lot of your own trading going on, but I, I'm hoping that what I've been able to bring to the table since you joined my Patreon, my Discord, <laughs> that I've helped open your eyes as well. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I hope so, at least. I think that I have, but. Bro, you're the, you're the brains of this operation. The research you do is crazy. I'd be like, oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, oh, how about this? How about when I saved your ass three thousand dollars? How about that? Oh my god. god, bro! Bro, I was holding, I was holding this coin called Ecto, and it was down, bro. I put in three k, and I was down to. Uh, it was um, it was about, pumping though. It was pumping, and you're like, this is yeah, your boy told was, you is the next one. Yeah, and then I was just like, bro, should I hold it or not? And then he was. He was like, let me look into it. He looks into it, bro. He takes like, kid you not, like five minutes. And then he was like, bro, this is a scam. This like, is, this take I, your money out. I have the chart here. Bro. You can't see it. He bought right here. Uh, right here is yeah. where he bought it. And I was like, bro, you need to exit immediately. He's like, what are you talking about? It's pumping like crazy. I'm like, bro, exit right now. And then look at this chart. You'll see it when you watch the video, you guys. Look at this. I mean, he's so lucky, bro, that he ran this by me. It's not even funny. Bro, I could have lost everything. I'm glad that, that I'm glad that we crossed paths, man. But um, that being said, we just wanted to do a quick one. I know uh, it went past time that I thought it would be, but thanks for your time. Can you I say any, one thing? Any last words? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so real quick, so for like, because... I'm a beginner. I haven't been in it as long as like uh, Diego or Man Manchester and uh, Crypto Danks. But, uh, you know, just remember, guys, from my understanding, that, and this is what I've learned from Crypto Danks and Crypto John and other pe other people, is that all these proof of stake cryptos that he that we were talking about, these most popular ones that are already on Coinbase and all these other exchanges, all these people that the token tokenomics the teams have bought it before you at a very very low price so some of them are still holding on that these people make pretty good money right they're in the crypto space they have more money to invest so they have a big allocation of these solana chain link all these big cryptos the most popular bnb all these ones we know whatever at a small price so as soon as it goes up what do you think is going to happen? They're going to dump on you. So just keep that in mind. That's why it's very important. Like I believe, and just like Diego Man and Manchester was saying, and is that you got to find guys like Crypto Danks and, and Crypto John, but definitely Crypto Janks. The uh, Janks, I call you Janks. <laughs> crypto Danks is a. Uh, it's worth it. I believe like being a patron is for sure worth it because I've learned so much, and I've only been a patron for like two weeks and I'm already up like I said on like two thousand dollars in my portfolio and he actually breaks things down so people like like me who are a complete idiot beginner when it comes to crypto like I don't 
I know about exercise and muscles and stuff, right? Like, I don't understand about tokenomics and charts and, and Fibonacci's and Debadachis and whatever, Marachis, you know? Like, he knows all about that. So he has a way of explaining it to you. So, guys, if if you're watching this, and seriously, like I said, I'm 30 years old. I had to move back in. I'm an average guy here, okay? Like, if you don't know about crypto and you feel lost and you want to invest something, it's definitely worth, first of all, subscribing to Crypto Dinks' channel and then 15 bucks a month. Come on, dude. That's like how many Starbucks? Like two Starbucks, three Starbucks? <laughs> exactly. You buy that uh, in two days. I'm not in it for so the it's money. Worth it, man. The only reason I'm in it and I charge 15 bucks is just to keep the, the you know, the just to keep, just <clears> to keep <throat> like, just people that don't deserve to be in there out. If you're willing to spend at least 15 bucks, then I know that you're at least somewhat serious and you want to learn. And that's the only reason why I charge that. Later down the road, as we grow and things become more valuable, maybe the price will go up. But for now, 15 bucks, man, do yourself a favor. Join the Patreon and uh, let's get those gains together, guys. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Your stories are incredible, man. I really look forward to the bull run and uh, going through it with you guys. I really do. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. All right. Nice meeting you. Yeah. All right. Take care. Thanks for your support. And uh, Crypto Danks, I'm out.